to the Enabling Festival 2021. My name is Daniel and I'm the co-founder of Enable Asia. Due to the current pandemic situation, this festival will continue to remain an online festival for 2021. The festival really aims to challenge, to explore, to shape perceptions and the understanding of dementia as well as caregiving, but through technology and the arts. Well, this year's focus is on taste, and we have curated many different programs surrounding taste for you. So please visit us at enableasia.org to see what we have to offer. Please enjoy the upcoming program. Let's do it, man. Hi, everybody. This is uh, Lance Kopi Session Gen XR. We are here in a very nice gallery that uh, uh, Glenn, our friend here, has uh, nicely put together, right? And then I met Glenn about four years ago and, and it's through a common friend, uh, Zach. We were on a program together and then I met Zach and then Zach said, you gotta meet Glenn. And that's how our relationship started. Um, and, and I'm very thankful. So on record, I want to thank you, Zach, for, yeah. for, for doing this, right? Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Mr. Lee Shan. Yeah. It's because at the time, it was because of Mr. Lee's support. That's why Zach uh, was uh, recommended me to support Enable Asia. Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. God, no. I can't see. So let's shout out for the art gallery. Simple art. If anybody who wants to buy any art. To visit. Yeah. 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 To visit. Yeah. So I started this art gallery uh, on 9th of September uh, 2020. So there are many people that, oh, you garang, you know. During this period, you can start new business. Yeah. Mm. I say same thing. Uh, I, I so called moved to a very passive mode, uh, mm. for my business as well. Mm. So last year, uh, I did something very different, which from tech, I started art gallery. And this art gallery is to do up, uh, um, to curate more pop art artists, bring more pop artists into Singapore, okay. uh, to share with more children, uh, and that is art economics. And so leave behind a legacy, right? I think yeah. that's, that's the piece. Uh, maybe we start with caregiving, right? Instead of a... Uh... No, we should start with food. Sure. <laughs> and taste. Alright. Because the theme is about taste, man. Yes, so this is part of the yeah. Enabling Festival 2021. This year's focus is on the sensory experience of taste. taste. Right, so at this point in time... Yes, I would like to ask maybe Daniel first, lah. Oh, should I ask the guests first? No, ask the guests. Ask the guests. No, we are all guests on this show. <laughs> there is no, yeah, yeah. there's no host on this <laughs> show. Okay. Yeah. Start with Glenn. Um, if I were to ask you to three, to choose only three food or drinks, mm. and you can only eat these three things until the day you die, <clears throat> what will it be? Oh, it gives me some chance to think, huh? Um, what? I'm posi kan si what will it be? Three jump one. Okay. Yeah. I will gang her kia got ye yellow beans. Oh, 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 oh. Right, so oh, he really read my mind. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, third one. Third one. Day Zang. Kopi Kao Siu Dai. Wow. I think Kopi Kao Siu Dai, uh, we started to really change when my dad said, hey, uh, you know, we have to take that sugar. Yeah. Oh. San Kao Ho. Okay. Tang Hao. Jen Sao. Jen Dai. Then why Kopi Kao also? It's like my dad, we I would go makan with my dad, my dad always order kopi kao without the siu tai. Uh. Then, we, then we just get used to it because it's like my dad, you know, they bring us to eat, to makan. Then it become like a, you know, it become a muscle memory kind of thing. Then we say, okay, well, kopi kao siu tai. And then why kopi kao siu tai? Because since then, 
my good people said that I always share with my wife. Yeah. So to my last day, my good people said that I will still share with my wife. Wow. Yeah. And and for your for everybody's info, a bit pricey lah. Could be considered call the ma, call the ma. I la ka wa la ka. Wow. Ah, this is something. 老婆，哎呦，我的啊，你的老婆，几两几碗干净白丝袜。So so food triggers childhood, childhood. Uh, mummy. Yeah. Uh, where father, my father, my wife. Yes. Right. Food triggers, yeah, a lot, a lot. And Daniel, what's your oh, for me? three food or drinks? Well, the first, the first I would say is uh, egg. Kui neng ah. Neng. Yeah, I like to chat kui neng, but any form of egg ah, whether is it uh, hard boy, whether is it half boy, whether scramble. is it whether is it uh, scramble, whether is it beat up egg, whether is it poach, whether is it sunny side ah, whether is it just egg ah, just egg ah. Yeah, when is it bitten to 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 why, chaw why, in? Why, why? Yeah, because I always remember when I was young and um, mummy had to go out of work. Yeah, so so what we really had was a uh, quick breakfast. So mummy still makes half boy for my dad today. So she will together cut in on the milk tongziki. Wait for that thing drip 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 finish. How many minutes? Yeah, fifteen. Ten minutes. No lah, fifteen. Ten minutes. Half hard boy. Oh, hard boy. Oh, hard boy. Because it's easy for him to eat hard boy. Because you say hard. Seven minutes is the is the is the pretty that that little kong ah standard one put inside ah finish ah take and eat one. Yeah, so it's it's a pretty pretty ah. Then also hard boy right. One of the tips and tricks my me teach me ah. You put a bit of salt salt ah, and then you boil it ah. The shell very easy to. Oh wow! Ah, so so egg ah is important. Okay. And, and so all sorts of a, no, very nice technique. Yeah, and all sorts of cuisines ah. One of the fundamental, Ingredient. maybe maybe other than vegetarian who don't take eggs ah, most of the cuisines would at least some have some form of egg. Mm. Uh, in that, so I thought if if till the day I die I can eat egg ah. There's so many different versions of of eating egg lah, so I won't get bored of eating just egg. Second is actually the coconut as a fruit itself, right? I don't eat the husk, ah, but <clears throat> I like the flesh as well as the water, mm. the water inside because I think there are a lot of healing properties from the from the coconut uh, water itself. But very liang, right? Yeah, Singapore very hot, eh? Very liang. Yeah, okay, so you see, you see, you see all the coconut water flying off the shelf. Yeah, yeah because everybody now cycle, cycle la, marathon, marathon la, or all drink wet coconut water, but eat the flesh as well, ah. The flesh can be used for a lot of cuisines as well. Yeah, so as the flesh itself, and even the shavings itself are being used for desserts. So I think I won't eat until I I I sian na. Okay, third one. And then third one, something very close to my heart lah, because my dad likes to eat chicken rice. Quite well. Yeah, but his form of a chicken rice in his memory is a rice ball. Yeah, so 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 until today I haven't tried the rice ball. I know cup two, cup two wa together lah in one ball already ma, but. But nobody does that for me. Even my 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 Pekio market, the fellow also don't want to do for me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so but but because he jiao wei liao, he jiao wei liao, he passed to me. So I eat whatever that is not say leftovers ah, but uh, he share with me ma. So I eat also. I also grew the liking, the palate to like chicken rice. Uh, and I think yeah, the 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 the, I don't think I'll get more chicken rice because I've been having it for last many many years ah. Yeah, and it's on a daily basis, ah. So I think can, ah. Actually, yeah. Chicken rice for a lot of Singaporeans is the go-to food when you don't know what to eat, right? Yeah. So so from two dollar fifty cent chicken rice to to ji zhap gao ka chicken rice, also can, ah. Yeah. Wu xin ni jia xin ni lao tiao. Yeah. So so I think I won't get bored of 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 that, lah. Okay. Yeah. So back to caregiving. Yeah. So as all know, right? I yeah. can't give for 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 yeah. daddy with dementia and mummy with uh who's a cancer survivor, but li- living with a lot of frailty right now. Uh, and daddy cares for mum, right? Yes. With, with mom, dementia, dementia, five years. Yeah. So maybe we need to pose this question to Glenn, ah. who is uh, newbie, uh, newbie, 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 <laughs> newbie. Uh, uh, what is caregiving? You mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. What is caregiving? Wait, to you? What is caregiving? To you? Yeah. Caregiving or something very strong one, ah. Uh. Wow. Oh, something that maybe like taking care of my children, 
Is it con- consider gang giving? Yes. Yes. Glad you're if you're watching this, huh? Oh, that is one okay, kind of gang giving. So can you say someone? Mm, I think care giving. Then I will start off with my mom because yeah. every Monday, Monday morning I will definitely play badminton with my mom. Yeah. So it become like a regular. It's, it's really regular. It started like a, at least a good three to four years. Right. So playing badminton with my mom. So that means that that's all. Seem is a care giving. So yeah. So talking about playing badminton with my mom. Mm. So how did it all start? I mean, mm. mommy was badminton player. Last no. Time? Uh, yeah. We I started badminton in two zero one zero with my company. Oh. So every Monday, uh, we don't report to the work. We don't report to the office. outdoor activity. So everybody report to uh, to badminton hall at nine a.m. Mm. So we play two hours, then we clean up ourselves. Then we do lunch with the whole team. Okay. Then means the whole company will go for badminton yeah. before we come to work. That's workplace well being, folks. Yeah. yeah. So with that having a mindset, then I said, hey. I should apply it to my mom. Yeah, yeah. mom. Yeah. But I did. I did. Of course, approach my dad. My dad said, "No, oh, you know, badminton. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, take deal, take deal." So, but only my mom take took yeah. the deal. My mom, my wife took all those deals. So we do it every month. So you challenge mommy. Yeah. Yeah. So it become like, eh, I can meet my mom every Monday morning. And she exercise. Second, she exercise. Third, she can go high. How do you say that, my son? Is my mentor uh, can teach me badminton. Yeah. Okay. So I said, wow, once don't hit many birds, right? Yeah. So I said, okay, then let's do it. Then so that's how I started Monday morning badminton with my mom. Auntie, I see that you watch this uh show, ha? I call you Sayang Jie, how old are you? How old is your mom? My mom is seventy, and she. Yeah, she she can play. She can play now. Wow. Yeah. So from a science perspective, right, mm. because Danny and I we went for programs to learn about how to. Help elderly or mm. to 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 go through uh, healthy aging or, or active aging, active right? Aging, yeah. yeah. So so I realized that hey, badminton is actually pretty good because the range of motion, the risk, mm. the range of motion on the shoulders, the hand eye coordination, yeah. the balance, the gait, all that being looked after. I'm not saying that everybody should go and play badminton, but do what your elderly likes, right? If the elderly yeah. take up the challenge, they're more likely to commit to it. Yes. Yeah. But we can also do the same things like. At home table tennis, mm. but I teach you all one trick. Okay, use plastic plate. No need to buy racket. Buy one tennis ball. Buy one, one table tennis ping pong ball. Pipia 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 same. But don't use porcelain plates lah because drop they really break. Same thing ah. Mm. Use plastic plate. It hold the handle same way. Dem dem like that go also same. Yeah. So professional table tennis player. I'm not a professional. I'm just doing things to help my elderly. Improve their range of motions, their hand-eye coordination, their flexibility. All these are innovative ways we try at home. It's not something that we prescribe, but it's something that we ourselves try at home and try and see if it works, right? Yes. Yeah. So that, if you if you think that that's not caregiving, that is is caregiving and then improving I, that yeah. routine. Mm. I think that's great for mummy as well. Cool. Yeah. I I think the definition for caregiving it doesn't mean that when the person is. Unwell, mm. then you exercise this caregiving. Yeah, so I don't yeah. like the word like Danny knows. I don't like the word caregiving. We are always caring for something. We're mm. caring for our children. We're caring for our spouse. We're caring for our parents that we love. That's just caregiving. Yeah, the giving piece. I think we just totally eliminate this we're because just we're giving. caring for them. We're yeah. Caring, so yeah. so so and and one more thing that I wanted to add was, what Glenn is doing is actually in a very preventive space. Because the longer you can maintain mummy or daddy, right? I active. mean, this being active and engaged, engaged. And, and she having her own purpose in life because this biopsychosocial, she has her own like oh I can go out and howl into her friends and all that kind of stuff. Ah, she got friends eh? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you want howl in howl in nobody, you know, talk into the mirror, go oh, ah. <laughs> right? So all these right are preventive things that we can actually try with our elderly. Maybe you can share with. The audience, what other things besides badminton your mom do to keep her engaged, engaged yeah. and active? My mom herself uh, look for volunteer work. Yeah, and uh, so when she do her volunteer, she really keep up most of this time from Monday to Friday. She's busy, so she volunteer in the uh, in the clinic, then even the bookstores. So I think with my mom, she know. 
she need this to occupy her time mm. with uh, with us supporting every Monday morning. Uh, yeah, we, we I, I can see I can see her very different. Yeah, so yeah. her quality of life, her dignity, her her sense of belonging, her 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 ability to say that I'm still useful, mm. I'm giving, I'm volunteering, I'm helping others. That itself, it's it's at a very high state of well-being. Mm. Yeah, because I think that's 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 really the holistic well-being piece. And if you can maintain that or help her to maintain that for a longer period of time, I think that's great. Yeah. Right. So for any future caregivers, please don't go and say I do everything for you. Okay, you just stay at home. Huh? <laughs> stay at home and do what gong ah. Right. Then really become gong ah. I I think for yeah. everybody we must feel useful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and let them do what they're good at doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's that's really what Glenn's uh, uh, approach to caregiving. Mm. Although he doesn't think it's caregiving, we think it's caregiving. Um, yeah. So, so I'm I'm just curious. So if let's say uh, you are almost at the age of like at the possibility of mm. dementia, mm. Uh, but before that, what would you want your child to to accompany you to? To do so that you feel uh, empowered, you feel useful. Come on, art gallery. <laughs> I mean, I will want my better, well, honestly. I want my children to uh, to help more people, to share more people uh, about the our journey uh, from like so, even like from now uh, from art gallery, from art sharing to like art giving. Okay. So I just find that. Um, Using visual to share with people, uh, is, is, you can really share a lot as long term. Uh-huh. So, children, whether children are taking care of their parents or children taking care of other people, um, they will get used to it when they know how to take care of others. Because when, when you look at their own parents, they will just like easy going, they just do it like this. Mm. So, I always advise my children share with more people. Yeah, don't, yeah, just don't keep it to yourself. Help more people, share with more people. Right, the idea yeah. of paying for it, mm. yeah, the idea of giving, yes, let's say yeah. you're sharing knowledge, you're sharing for it, yeah. yeah, right. That's that's li- living and breathing it because he shares every, to every day. Kopi kau siu tai, si pua already. Yeah, yeah. So so that's a very good uh, uh, tip for, for those who are watching as well. If you're a future caregiver, mm. um, the more you pick up from our sharing here, and the more you go on and share with other people. Uh, what you have learned, um, I think that that, that, yeah, that you itself will, is paying forward. Slowly, yeah. you get used to it because once you have this mindset of sharing, even like from a simple coffee, automatically when you do business, right, you find that hey, uh, business margin, you just share. Yeah, it's okay. We you you straight away have the that mindset as a sharing mindset. It becomes a philosophy, right? Yeah. Life. Philosophy. Then we tell your children also a sharing. Okay. Yeah. I, I want to say something. Uh. Um, I think caregiving is not a bit of roses, not just playing badminton. Mm. It's actually more brutal than that. Mm. I'm sure you know Daniel, you know me, yes, you know yeah. what we have gone through. Short of showering our parents mm. and cleaning up when they poo and pee, mm. this is, you know. <laughs> The real this is the real, real world. The real thing. World. Right? Mm. Are you what's your take on that? Are you like Are you ready, ready to, uh, to, yeah. to to plunge in to, to get yeah. thrown at the deep end of the pool and yeah. I, I'm not saying it will happen. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a really a 50-50. So as a children or son, we we'll definitely want to do it, but but when you go to bathing, when there's Mommy. a naked I think that you know, intensity of yeah, doing so there's a 50-50. Then sometimes we'll just it's like you wave my boy, and then you wave Tian and my jaw, or one and Kaki jaw. Yeah. So that's why I say it's a 50 50 thing. But, but I think it's we every. Yeah, but we think back, right? When we, yeah, when we are. Individual decision making. Yeah, right? But when we are baby, they also so naked, what? they also do what? But now when they back to the baby mode, and we are not willing to do it, then we felt that we, slowly we felt a bit guilty. But okay, I need to share this with you. Uh. Every morning, uh, me and my helper will need to shower mommy. We'll go into the bathroom, and my helper, female, uh, of course, she will remove her pampers 
and of course I will stand behind the wheelchair, mm. I will put the drapes mm. so that she cannot see me. But my helper says she reluctant to be undressed Address. mm. because she knows I'm standing mm. behind. This is something I want to point out. Mm. Yeah. And mommy has dementia you know, so so that the, the modesty of, the sense of consciousness is it, it's, it's not still there. It's yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 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 how do we work around this? I mean, Danny, you went for a program. How do we work mm-hmm. around yeah. this? Uh? You remember we told me about the the oh, plastic the gloves. gloves? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe for everybody out there, um, if you really really need to shower your mom or dad, um, you you by wearing a glove and not touching your mom or dad, flesh to flesh. That will eliminate the anxiety for them as well as for yourself. So in short, right? Let me yeah. just summarize what he's saying. Yeah. By wearing all that, that latex plastic gloves, yes. there's that level of detachment yes. you have with the That's with, right. with your loved ones so because it's like a it's not skin on skin. Section. Yeah, it mm. becomes a transaction because yeah. you just need to get the job done. Yes. Right? And and there's a science to it. Yes. Yeah, so, so that's that's really a tip or two. Yes, um, must remember. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so let's go on to 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 a little bit more about what what else? I forgot my chain of thought, right? Because <laughs> this is this is super late at night, okay? Because yes, we wanted to we wanted to do this. We wanted to bring this to you because in this COVID pandemic situation, um, we understand that you cannot come out and visit the festival, but. What we can do is the least we can do is to bring the festival to the comfort of your home, and we continue to do that because uh, that's what the enabling festival prides itself for. Because uh, we are real people struggling with real human issues, but we wanted to share like what Glenn is saying because by sharing, we feel that there's uh, for us there's still that ability to pay it forward. Mm-hmm. No matter how shitty our situation, shitty. <laughs> no matter how shitty our situation is, we are really to let you guys know that if you can't come to this place to talk with us, or to talk with us, then it's no problem. Because we are now using technology, we can send our program to you. 家家里最后一个问题最后一个问题吧最后一个问题我先讲你讲吧安迪阿哥最主内一定让你知道 I'm gonna put him on the spot, so I'm gonna tell him. Kapapa uh, mama. Uh, now you give you a chance to kapapa mama. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Your chew Hokkien, I'm more than that. Your chew la. Mummy, can I tell you? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, my heart, right? Yeah. Mummy. Auntie, what's your name? Oh, I'm cute. Your daddy chew la. Ah, my God. Mama Xiao. Mama Xiao, the mummy. 大概拜我過去的課桌一拍拍明燈。好誒。美女我能出國。好誒,可以幫嘛,阿弟,誒,幾叫我做這個。哦,誒,可以可以幫嘛。好,我能等的。嗯,這裡我能去法國,我能去美
also want to watch soccer, I accompany my dad. So I also want to play badminton, I accompany my mom. After he talked to me, <laughs> actually he only had one thing to say, I'm going to He actually loves you all very much. He just. I see my gong to like Say, mommy, daddy, I love you. Oh, mommy, daddy, so I say I love you. <laughs> no, last question, come. Let's not put him on the spot anymore. So, 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 in in English translation, is I always remember how the water started. From where? I'm dementia. I'm sitting here. I'm mm. done the disease. Mm. Just like I'm cancer. I'm diabetes. Mm. What would you want to tell me? Dementia? Yes. I'll probably say I love dementia. Why so long? I think dementia really bring back to the memories from our parents how we take care of us mm -hmm. then to the end when they become our children mm. so when I say I love dementia means that it's our time to take care of our parents mm. oh that's a wow yeah. that is deep huh? this one I need time to think wow, this one I want to digest <laughs> Yeah, because I, I find that that's why I said that why is things with Si is because it's a cycle. Okay. So I said that I love dementia. Okay, there is no aversion mm. to dementia. I'm saying mm. here. You won't love me. 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 对啊，对啊，所以我们说我们喜欢dementia，好，我们恨dementia. You love dementia, you love something. At least you show your caring, you show your sharing. Then if you say I hate dementia, then you always put in your, you put in your mind I hate dementia, I hate dementia, I hate dementia. So Abraham Lincoln got a saying, right? I don't know that man, I got to know him better. Yes. Yeah. So I want to end with that note because it's something very deep for us to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you see, because when I say I like dementia, then when my children see what I'm doing to my parents, then you, you know that yes, it's a become a role model. You, it's you a cycle. You won't fight. You won't fight. All diseases, or even including dementia, or even yeah, yeah. COVID nineteen, we, we can't. We must embrace it. Yes, yeah. Positive. Because because yeah. we feel what we don't know. Yeah, we're mm. willing to feel what we don't know. But we when we get closer, we realize that it's actually something that we don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 We are then better able mm. to to to. It's a positive really mindset. Understand. Yeah, it's a positive yeah. mindset. And why and why you exist, right? If you are dementia, yeah. yeah. Maybe because we don't know enough. Yeah. So that's that's really that's really embrace it, man. That's really. I'm lost for words for not many times in my life, but. It was so was so. I know. Yeah. We'll see, fine. So. So to Keep our viewers out there. Maybe Danny, you can close this chapter while I'm still processing. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we're gonna have this awkward silence. So, so I think uh, for everybody out there, I will pose this question to you: If dementia is a person, type down what would you want to say to him or her, and uh, yeah, I guess. And we will put the responses on some of our merch so, items. Yes. Yeah, our merchandise items that are yes, coming yes. out towards the end of the year. Christmas yes. time is coming. Alright. Yeah. So, thank you very much once again for watching uh, the La Kopi series. We are the Jet Thank you. Yeah. I can't believe I'm the same age group <laughs> as them. <laughs> Alright. Alright, thank you very much good and night. have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our program. We hope you have 
found this useful and please help us to complete a simple survey by using the QR code provided below. This will help us to improve and fulfill our requirements for the various sponsors. If you want to find out more about the Enabling Festival 2021, please visit our Facebook page, our Instagram, our TikTok and website to see more what we have more to line up for you. The Enabling Festival is in its fourth year now and it certainly has been a very rewarding journey. We hope we can pledge a dollar or more to this cause because this will further help our cause for dementia community. Thank you, take care and stay safe.